Hi there and welcome to a new video in which we're going to be talking about Godot 4.4 but more specifically about the fact that now if you scroll down over here what you're going to be finding is the fact that now in Android we should be able to export okay um, and this is something super interesting due to the fact that you can not only develop uh, completely the game in your mobile phone but also export it to a variety of platforms and already if you go here to the read more section uh you're going to be able to indeed read more information about what is supported what is not supported etc but uh, we'll actually take a look at uh, what we can inside of the editor so first of all let me talk about uh, how to download this if you just download it from the official uh, google play store what is going to happen is that this version in reality um is 4.3 as you can see what's new okay go to 4.3 is here so this is outdated at least this is at the very moment in which i'm recording this video but maybe if you are seeing a couple of hours after after the video has been published or a couple of days or whatever you may see here that it says go to 4.4 is here or whatever um but well we must make sure that we're installing go to 4.4 and not go to um 4.3 so if you were not able to download go to 4.4 from the google play store once again you should be able to do so in a couple of days uh, you can just go to the official go engine website so you just look for go engine in any of in any browser and you have to scroll down and detail it until you find here the official website and now over here we just have to click where it says download latest and here we have to scroll down a little bit okay until here where we find supported platforms here we press on android okay here is going to tell us that we can download it from the play store but as we saw well it is not available on the play store this version so we're going to be downloading the apk okay so let's click over there and wait a couple of seconds you're going to be requested to download this you just press download and wait a couple of seconds and then when you press on the notification once the download has finished basically when you open up the file uh, you may have um, some uh, pop-up like this that says for your security your phone currently is not allowed to install these kind of things so you may have this exact same pop-up or a different one but the key thing is the same one so you just have to go to uh, your settings and in this case will allow from this source so this process may depend a little bit on your specific mobile device so i'm aware of the possible risk wherever and we have to press ok over here when i am allowed to do that so you have to enable um how is this option called unknown apps okay and now we are going to be able to actually download it from an apk this is because you, we are not installing an application directly from a verified store we are doing it from the outside so that's why our phone is selling us that because there are of course some files that can be dangerous that are not inside of the store of course uh, so that's what we basically have to take into account but in this case of course it's completely safe it is the official go website and even here when it was installed as you can see the antivirus of <laughs> built in inside of my phone is once again analyzing everything and it's not going to be finding anything wrong so i will just press over here open so it's going to require me to give it all file access so of course we enable that and we come back directly pressing on the arrow on the uh, top left okay and here we are okay and as you can see at the bottom we have to verify that indeed we are in 4.4 uh so if you download this from play store for example and it says here 4.3 do not use that version because you're not going to be able to do so and you must use then the apk okay but if you have downloaded from the play store and here it says 4.4 you have no need of installing the apk the, the thing the key thing is that you get to install the 4.4 version it doesn't matter if it is from the apk or from the play store now I will go to the asset library because I will just here press go online. I will just download a pretty simple template. So I just downloaded these kinds of, it's called cute pong project. So I will just go ahead and install it right over there. This is just so that when we uh, create a project, sorry, when we build the project, we do have something to actually take a look at. But of course here you would open uh, your, your project, your own, uh, the project of your own uh, or wherever you want to open and build. So okay here we are inside of the game so if we now go to project and export okay we can add here presets now something that i do want to show you are here the limitations so for example you are able to do android apk exports but you are not able to create aab exports at this point in time so maybe in the future version it is able basically this is the file that you need to um that you need to upload to google play store when you want to um 
upload a game or, a, or an app or whatever to a Google Play Store, but you are still able to create APKs, okay? You can also create Linux exports, web exports, unsigned Windows exports, uh, Mac OS, well, and, and all the things that you can see over there, basically. But of course, in this case, let's go ahead and create a new Android export. So let's press over here, add an Android, okay? So let's give it a second. As you can see, uh, we have like lots of things here. So we always have an export templates for these platforms are missing. So we can directly press manage export templates. We can just select download and install. And now Godot will automatically install the template that we need. And as you can see, it is a file that is like a uh, quite uh, heavy. So it will take considerable time and it will also take up that space in your hard drive. But it's something that probably you're going to be able to manage perfectly fine. So let's just give this a couple of seconds. So there we have it, after waiting a couple of minutes, everything should be fine. And now when we close this and come back to project, export, okay, as you can see, we should not be able to see any problems. So also here from the top, as you can see, you're able to also move the window a little bit. You have here a warning in terms of the, the project name doesn't mean the requirement for the package name format and will be updated to Qtpong. Please explicitly specify the package name if needed. So I believe that basically here by providing a name, for here here package name so let's just put here whatever a uh, game that warning would disappear i'm not going to dig deeper into what is the the the, the package name or else. so if we do it like this no well th this did not disappear but well whatever let's not pay attention to that what we can press over here is export pck zip okay Sorry, here, export project, actually, that, that is the option that we need to export, actually, this as an APK. And here you can select any place where you actually want to store this new APK. So in my case, I will just go to the, uh, to the, I will to the root here, just here in my storage, for example, and I will press over here, save, okay? Uh, so this will, once again, take a couple of seconds to build and to do everything. So we just have to wait a couple of seconds. Or when in reality I do want to share it like in a, in a specific folder, so we'll just go ahead and create one over here. We'll just call it builds, so that we can um, easily find it. So builds over there, and I will just uh, press save over there. <clears throat> you can also uh, disable the export with debug option, I believe, so that you don't have a, you're going to be having two files if you have this on, the APK and a debug file. Uh, and I believe that you can just disable that and everything is going to be fine. But well, I just wanted to use the default options in case because this was something implemented right now. Um, and well, as you can see here, I'm getting for security. Your phone currently isn't allowed to install known apps from this source. You can change this in settings. So once again, this pop-up may be different depending on your device. So let's press settings. Allow from this source. Okay, now I'm getting this. So once again, I'm aware of this, whatever, and wait a couple of seconds. And here we are. Okay, let's come back down. Well, here install. As you can see, there we see the game with with a, with a name that I put. But there you could put any any name for your game if you wanted to. And let's wait a couple of seconds. Once again, here you may have apps scan recommended, uh, more details, whatever. I will just press here install without scanning. Okay, it is requesting my my fingerprint over there, so I will just put it. Um, so once again, a lot of security stuff that is going to be popping up. There, it told me app installed, and now I believe it's opening up. No, it's, it's scanning again. I know it's a lot of effort here. Probably there are ways of turning off all of this, but I personally don't know about that. But here, a path security test, no risks. So it is being installed. Uh, so we can just press over here open in this case and it should open up once again this may not work properly because it's not the game that that was built specifically for mobile but if it uh, if it is able to open up and at least we can press here some button it's going to be fine well there you are able to listen to the music i just turned it off uh, from my device so that uh, we, it, we, it doesn't disturb us i know that if we press settings for example we should be able to as you can see here gets everything work history game history well i don't know what this is to be honest uh, let's press play. I don't think we're going to be able to 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 do anything because the input is probably not optimized for mobile. No, it isn't. But you can see everything's working as expected. Okay. Um. So well, this is all uh, for this video. I hope that it has been helpful. And if you want to learn Go to Mobile, I have uh, published a course. Okay. Um. I will right now it is at this price because the platform automatically sets the price, but normally it is at this price. But I'm going to leave you a coupon code in the description down below. Well, actually, a, a, a link that automatically has a coupon applied to it for limited time. 
and it will always work, okay? And it's going to give you the course at something like $12. So, well, I will see you there inside of that course to actually take your Godot game development skills inside of mobile, as you can see, without any kind of PC, to the next level.